McCarthy and the leadership, so-called leadership in the uh, in the House Republican House caucus, do you think they understand right now the frustration that here it is, first of September, still no message, no commitment to America, no contract for America? Remember Gingrich on the steps? He had you know, 400 people there, all the incumbents and almost every challenger signing onto the contract for America where they laid out 10 things they were going to do starting day one. When are we going to get that? Did they understand that without an agenda, they can't mobilize their base? Do they, do they have any clue, John, as to what's going on out here? Well, I think the individual candidates know, the conservative movement knows. So they're going to find out real fast because September is our month to make this count. And and your point about Newt, Newt did work with us uh, for for his new American Majority Project, and people can see that online under you know Gingrich 360, the New American Majority uh, Project. He's got a list of 24 issues where when you say Republican, the vast majority of Americans are voting for us on those issues in spite of the fact we're identifying candidates as Republicans, and he's got 62 percent. Are, are going to vote with us on or agree with us on 15 or more of those 24 issues, and you've got other uh, you've got another 15 percent in play where there's only 25 percent that are really big government socialists, and and Newt has written a book about de- defeating new uh, big government socialism. Every candidate should read it; they should take it on, and I think you're going to see the, the groundswell from the backbenchers, from the candidates at the grassroots levels. Uh, you know, basically saying, here are the voters, listen to the voters, because we're hearing voters every day telling us they can't afford to drive to work and feed their kids at the same day. I mean, the biggest concern is not gas. Gas is still high. It's still a big concern on inflation, but also uh, uh, it's food and and everyday necessities. We, in this poll, we had 43 percent of all voters saying that they were having trouble making ends meet and affording everyday necessities. Another 39% told us, even though they could afford the basic necessities, they've been significantly impacted in their finances by inflation. Well, that's over 80% of the voters. Where are the, where are the Republican ads saying that we can fix this by stopping the reckless spending, stopping the high taxes, 